true religion isn't in your church positions it is not in superstitions but church activities true repentance is an act of brokenness from the grief of your regrets of a life that's now deceased true deliverance is not a road you walk alone but with my spirit says the lord as you walk away from sin true salvation it's not displayed in how you're treated it's not in prayers that you've repeated time and time again cause this is not a game and this is not a chance to see the spotlight it's not about a church that seats a thousand or a choir that sings on key it's about the kingdom and when will you make time to share my gospel make time to point the lost to a brighter day in eternity and make time for me that you could lie in front of the creator of the universe and get away with it. That you could lust in your mind and your heart and get away with it. That you could steal and cheat and fornicate and get drunk and get away with it. You haven't gotten away with anything. And some of us have more in our cards than others. Some of us have more to debit to God than others. Because usually the older a sinner gets, the more sin they have. The Bible says that God opens the the mouth of hell opens its mouth wider and wider to receive more sinners and the bible you know since wednesday morning you're talking about this this morning over 200 people have died in new york city since wednesday morning but they didn't get up that morning and say hey you know what i'm going to the morgue today but today might be your day today might be the day that you die and go and face judgment and some of you are no spring chickens. I'm no spring chicken. And just because you're young doesn't mean you can't die today. Any one of us could die today. Isn't that true? And death is going to be faced by every person. Are you ready for that? Jesus Christ wants you to be ready. Jesus Christ wants you to receive mercy today. There's no mercy in Islam. There's no mercy in Roman Catholicism. There's no mercy in Buddhism. There's only mercy in Jesus Christ. Are you hating my hate? Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God hates violence. Or hates those that love violence. Excuse me. God hates the wicked, the Bible says. If you're living in wickedness, God has a hatred for you. Get ready. Wake up. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. Prepare yourself. Oh, so many, I don't know, at least hundreds of thousands of people out here, I suppose. A lot of people. A lot of people out here, most of them neglecting their souls. Are you neglecting your soul? Yes, I guess that's the answer. Yes, I think that's the answer for you, too. If you're neglecting your salvation in Jesus Christ, if you're trampling the blood of Jesus with your sin, you're in trouble with Him. You need to repent. You need to change your mind and heart change your life seek the lord jesus christ why wouldn't you seek jesus i mean why there's no other name under heaven by which a man can be saved there's no other hope no other man has been resurrected jesus christ is the way and the truth and see children receive it why won't adults receive it adults need to receive it too come on now soften your heart Unstiffen your neck. The Bible says a wicked and stiff neck generation. That's America. A wicked, see, shaking my head. That's what Jesus will be doing with you, sinner. On judgment day, Jesus will be shaking his head at you. No, sinner. You're not coming into my kingdom. You're not welcome here, sinner. Get your filthy butt in hell. All right, so the Bible says. Jesus will command his angels to bind you with chains. Bind you with fetters, hand and foot and throw you into hell. Now, I don't suppose, the Bible doesn't say this specifically, but I don't suppose that you'll say, you know what, I'm real happy about this. I suppose you'll be kicking and screaming, trying to get mercy from God at his judgment seat. You need his mercy seat right now, people. You sinners need the mercy of God 
right now. It'll stop your idol worship and your drunkenness and your filthy sin and your lust. What's Tebo got to do with this? Tebo's long gone, man. Tebo's already burned up by the NFL. Tebo's done, man. Tebo's finished. You need Jesus. Tebo can't help you. You need Jesus Christ. There's no other name under heaven by which a man can be saved. You shake your head too, sinner, and Jesus will shake his head at you. Jesus is going to say, no, sinner, you can't come in. No sinners allowed in my kingdom. Only the saints of God, hallelujah. Only the holy ones. Only the ones that are sanctified by the Spirit. Only those that truly love and obey God. 1 John 5, 3, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. I just went to the Book of Mormon. Does that count? No, sinner, it does not. Oh, for yes. this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. The Book of Mormon can never help you. It will only lead you astray like many other filthy religions. Or like every other filthy religion. The only true and perfect religion is following Jesus by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You can be born again of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ said, if you're not born again of the Holy Spirit, you shall not enter the kingdom. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. That's by the Holy Spirit, born again from above. Hallelujah. You need Jesus. Jesus died for you. Jesus shed his blood for your sin. Trust him. Jesus Christ is worthy to be obeyed. Amen? Amen. Amen. I get an amen on that. Now, will you Christians come out here and seek the lost? Or are you just going to go have some more entertainment? Oh, entertainment! Right, see? Your priorities are all jacked up. Your priorities are all messed up. You need to make God's priorities your priorities. That's why I know it's an idol in your life. You say you're a Christian, but you won't follow Christ. What a shame. You'll follow the Seattle Seahawks. You'll follow the Denver Broncos. You'll follow the New York Jets. And who cares? You follow Christ. You get excited about Jesus. Hallelujah, you need Him. The Holy Spirit living in you. Amen. Can I get an amen? It's all right, take one of those. Take yeah. some of them. Get them out, man. Tomorrow. Don't, don't neglect it. All right, God is coming to judge. Don't you want mercy, friend? Don't you want mercy in Jesus? Come on, make it some mercy. You guess you want mercy from God, read it carefully. Oh, you people, you know, the sinners don't want other sinners to get right. I mean, that's what I notice when I've been ministering on the streets. When one sinner becomes a little sober-minded about Jesus, the other sinners say, come with us, man, get away from that freaky guy. Why? Why do sinners want to drag other people that are seeking Jesus off? Why do other sinners... Why? What do you want? What do you do with it? You gonna read it? Will you read it? Okay. See if you're a man of God. You obey, obey the word of God. Well, you people are children of the devil. You're not devils. You're children of the devil. The Bible says, "He who sins is of the devil." So if you're living in sin, you're of your father, the devil. Repent and believe. Be born again of the Holy Spirit. What you need. Hey, Christ is your Savior. Do you have it? How do you know? He's in your heart. It's the Billy Graham Gospel. Jesus is in my heart. Well, how is Jesus in your heart and Jesus at the right hand of God at the same time? Can somebody please answer me that? How is Jesus Christ living in your heart and at the right hand of the Father at the same time? Answer, he's not. Jesus is ruling and reigning from the right hand of the Father. If you're a Christian, the Holy Spirit will be in your heart. Come on, Dad. Read it with him. Read it with him, Dad. Come on. Come on, Dad. I don't want you to go to hell, man. Lead your children in righteousness. The narrow way it leads to life. You don't have to go to hell, sir. You can stop your mockery and humble yourself. You can confess your sin to Jesus and be born again. That's what you could do. The question is, will you? Wow, look at this huge flow of people, man. It's incredible. I can't get it. Yeah. No, it's okay. Can you? Uh, you passed down there. I appreciate that. 
one, one, would you take that one for you, please? I appreciate that too. One for your mom, your big sister. <laughs> God is coming. Repent of your sin. Concern yourself about your soul and about the state and condition of your life. If you're living in spiritual wickedness, then God is going to throw you down, friend. Oh, on Judgment Day, you'll remember this day clear as a bell that you ignored God. You ignored His Word. You ignored the preacher. You kept on walking in your sin. You ended up dying your sin, and now you have all of eternity to regret your life of filthiness. Your life, it is horrible. Don't go there, man. Don't be judged by God. You don't have to be judged by God. You can receive mercy. Mercy is available to you. Receive it. You have to humble yourself and receive it. Come on. That's right. Come to the kingdom. No? Why wouldn't you want to serve Jesus with all your life? Only Jesus Christ is worthy to be obeyed. And the only one that has qualified to rule over our lives. These politicians have already proved it. They're not qualified. They're sinners too. They're not qualified to rule over us. No man is qualified to rule over you. But Jesus Christ is qualified. Thank you. Jesus Christ has authority whether you believe it or not. And your unbelief is your condemnation. Repent. Hey, go hot. What's going on back there, brother? You see? I don't know, they're all clogging up or something. Repent and believe. Jesus. Thank you, sir. Trust the Lord Jesus. Trust Christ. On the beats, like that. Wow. The word. Oh, wow, you're kidding me. No, man. Allah is an idol, just an idol. It's a false god. Allah is a rock in Mecca inside of a big square box. You worship the living God, the true God, the one that died shed his blood for you. He wants you to come, man. God wants you to come. What? No, my man. That's Jesus. How about that? Jesus! Come on, man. Read it. Read it. Well, obey. I'm not saying obey me, woman. Obey Christ. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Obey Jesus. I'm not telling you to obey me. I don't expect any of you to obey me. But you need to obey God. That God is coming. He's not happy with sinners. God's not coming as a lamb this time. He's coming as a lion to judge the world in righteousness. But most of you unbelievers don't really believe that. You have no fear of God. That's the problem. You live in your sin in front of a holy God who has holy eyes and expect Him to ignore your unholiness? God is not going to ignore unholiness. God is going to judge it and condemn it. Jesus saved from your sin. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came to save His people from their sin. He didn't come to save you from hell per se, but to save you from sin. Of course it's fun, sinners. I agree with you. But you need to stop it. You need to surrender your life to Christ. I know that already. I used to be a sinner just like you. I probably was sinner. I've been sinning since 1972. And praise the Lord, I stopped it. And you people need to surrender your sin as well. To surrender your life to Christ. You need to obey Jesus. It's not a chance to see the spotlight It's not about a church that seats a thousand Or a choir that sings on key It's about the kingdom And when will you make time to share my gospel? Make time to point the lost to a brighter day in eternity Oh, and this is not a game and this is not a chance to see the spotlight It's not about a church that seats a thousand Or a choir that sings on the key It's about the kingdom And when will you make time to share my gospel? Make time to point the lost to a brighter day in eternity And make time for me When will you make time for me?